Okay, so this is my bald-faced hornet queen that I've been tracking now for the last four days. Um, so my first video that I made was merely just a couple hours of filming and different angles and things. This video I have set up at um, a certain position and this video has been the span of about four days. So if you notice the nest size will get bigger by the end of the video and the larvae get bigger by the end of the video. So you can see the larvae here now and they are maybe about two-thirds of the size of the cell that they're in. Um, the queen, like as of right now, she is um, actually building the nest. She had gone out and foraged and come back and she is actively um, taking the pulp that she had chewed up off of a piece of wood or rotten um, sawdust or whatever and brought it back to the nest and started manipulating it to build the nest wall. So she, when she would go out and forage, I had timed her a couple times. She was gone from anywhere from one to two minutes if she was getting food to uh, four to five minutes if she was uh, getting pulp. So she flies out, she gets pulp, she brings it back, she checks on the larva immediately, and then comes right out and starts building. So right now she's building, she's, she's uh, regurgitating the, um, the pulp that she made in her mouth, in her, between her mandibles, and brings it back and starts um, regurgitating it to build. So if you notice, when she first flies back, she actually like circles the nest a couple times, and then she, like the outside ring where she's going to build, like it's almost like she's observing it. Here you can see her, she's building some more, she's getting a nice layer out. She'll do that back and forth over the same area about four or five times before she uses up all the pulp in her, in her mouth. Goes back in, checks on the larva, goes to each individual cell and checks on every one of them, even goes around. I think I don't know if she's checking for intruders or what but she does that the same pretty much the same thing every time um, I did do a lot of splicing in this as you can just see there's some jump frames um, because there are certain times where she was resting or times where she leaves the nest for a long period of time and nobody wants to see just you know the larva moving around there's nothing really happening so so there she just came back she um, you can always tell when she comes back with pulp instead of um, coming back with food because she checks on the larva and then you know goes first thing she does she comes back she goes in the hole she checks on the larva looks at every one of them and then comes back out and starts laying um, more um, paper checks on the larva again goes to each individual cells and checks on she has nothing to give to them um, and she also is probably getting a little bit of the enzyme fluid from the larva that they regurgitate and feed her so that's how she eats she doesn't eat large solid food she'll actually just eat um, whatever the larva regurgitate, which is like a sugar water with some enzymes in it and protein. Um, she'd just come back and she started feeding the larva. You can tell when they've been fed because they, they're they very, very active and uh, inside the comb or inside the cells. Flying off, comes back, and she is feeding them. She you can tell by how she's, her, her body language when she comes back. She's giving them, uh, giving them sustenance. Now she's cleaning herself. And you'll notice she rests a lot. Um, she will, well, not a lot, but she does rest. And uh, you'll see later on in the video where she actually stays pretty still on the outside of the nest. And she did that for like 10 minutes, and I had to cut a lot of that out. So the larvae are already starting to look bigger. I think this is day two. And you can see the nest is a lot bigger. And you, now, if you kind of pay really close attention to the side where she's actually laying the new paper, um, it's darker. So it's still wet. And um, she won't come back and do the same place twice. She'll lay that and let it let it dry, which usually only takes, I don't know, maybe 15 to 20 minutes before it dries. Checking on all of her girls, and out she goes. More foraging. The the term busy bee um, doesn't quite do the wasp justice. She is a great mother. The second she comes back, she checks on every one of her brood, and then she starts building the nest. Right now she's just kind of doing some cleaning. Out she goes. Say so now, if you look at the larva there in the center on the top left comb cell, she has food. She has a little black, like regurgitated bug or something. Like I said, adult hornets and wasps. Blanket term is wasp. Anyway, um, adult wasps cannot digest solid food. Their waists are too small. 
So what they do is they will go out and hunt solid food for their larvae because their larvae can eat solid food. And they bring that, um, that material back and regurgitate it as like a liquid and or even just like chunked chopped up bug or fruit or whatever and they give that to the to the larva so the larva eat that and you'll see when she moves here there's there's a big black glob on one of those larvae because she's yeah see that all those larvae have a little black glob and that's just chunk food that they're eating it's like almost like resting on their bellies on their beer bellies and then they just sit there and peck at it um, so then when she, they're done eating that they'll regurgitate a sugar water that the um, that the queen will eat herself I did leave this one a little bit longer because I wanted to show all of that uh, all that food that they're eating and right, she comes back she's gonna check on them. I'm sure she's not gonna feed them anything else she's gonna go right out to start building the nest yep there she goes circles a little bit now you notice the last time that she was building she was building on the right side now she's on the left side and she's gonna build that out a little bit further same process back and forth about five times before she um, depletes the amount of pulp that she has in her mouth and the larva is still pecking away at those large globs of goop and to check on the girls again cleans herself a little bit inspecting the bottom of the comb and if you notice the nest itself is is pretty uh, stationary but then when she climbs on the comb it's kinda loose in there so the outer ring is um, a new flex of paper. The inner circle or dome is the main structure. And then inside that, the comb is attached um, to that nest itself. And then the, the, the entire nest is actually connected to the, uh, the light fixture. So the grubs are pretty quiet. They're, uh, they'd eaten quite a bit. I think this is day three. Checking on the girls and out the build. She does not come back with food and pulp. She'll come back with one or the other. So when she leaves, I guess, I mean, she has in her mind what she's doing. She's going to go out and get pulp to make into paper, or she'll go out set for hunting, or um, they're pretty opportunistic. So if she finds um, a dead carcass of a bug, she'll chew that up, or fruit, or meat, or dead animals, or whatever. They're, they're not picky which is great. I mean, people think that hornets and wasps don't have a purpose. That's their purpose. Kind of like the uh, buzzards of the insect world, or vultures of the insect world. Not only are they predatory, but they're scavengers. Alright, doing the, her circle rounds to check the where the nest needs to be built. I don't know if it's like a leveling thing for her, like if she's, she's running around and seeing where there's um, an uneven spot or a low spot, but it's, it, she definitely seems to go for the low spots. And if you kind of notice, like the speckled look on the outside of the nest, that's not sp like speckled dots or discolorations. Those are actually holes, and I think they're purposely placed for ventilation. Hornets, well, these aren't. Uh, this isn't actually a hornet. This is a yellow jacket. But um, yellow jackets, wasps in general, have a very um, very small variance of temperature that they can um, tolerate. Specifically hornets, especially European hornets, um, they can't go but a few degrees um, greater in temperature before they start to overheat. So ventilation is very important. And if you notice when the nest gets bigger, they, um, the adult, some of the adult guards will fan the, the entrance way to kind of circulate air into the nest. Right, doing some more building here. She's uh, she's been at it for quite a while. I think this is still day three, but it is literally back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, building, feeding, and then, I mean, just like a small little time of rest. I did get some good shots. I left some good shots in of uh, of her resting on the outside of the nest a little bit later on. Which, yeah, here she is. So she's resting here. I don't know if she's sleeping or what, but she'll do this. She'll check on the brood, and then she stops again and just kind of hangs tight. And this went on for probably about 15 minutes that I did have to splice it out. <clears throat> Alright, so this is day four. So you can 
can see that line of paper being built there. It's incredible how much she can actually build with what she goes and scavenges for. Giving herself a good cleaning. You'll see sometimes when she comes back that she has pollen all over her, where she has been pollinating flowers and getting nectar. Now these, look how much bigger these grubs are now too. Uh, the larvae are significantly bigger than what they were at the beginning of the video when we first started watching. Before they were about two thirds the size of the cell, now they're about three quarters, if not almost seven eighths more um, as big as the cell. So they should be starting to weave their silk cap soon. I would think that they would be hatching probably in the next couple of days to be a, a, an adult hornet. Pretty incredible how she is very attentive to checking on each individual cell. She gets a little bit of her sugar water too, so it's a give and take, but she's up very, very concerned about checking on, um, checking on her young. And then she'll sit here for a little while and says, I thought this was really cool, and she comes out and kind of sits with her face sitting out of the hole, shaking her tail feathers here. Always like watching them clean. Kind of reminds me of a housefly, but um, you can definitely tell that there's uh, there's some. Oh, here she's. Oh, okay, I was gonna say. I thought that was the one where she sits for a while. I'm surprised she doesn't rest more than what she does. Um, when she comes back, like she's resting quite a bit on this side here. But um, when she comes back and she's just kind of chilling for a little bit, it's like, man, I would think that she would be resting a lot more than what she does. If you notice, there's like a little like gnat fly thing that keeps running all over the outside of the nest, which I think is funny because at one point she does actually catch one of them. I don't know if I left it in or not. I didn't really pay attention when I was cutting it, but um, she does come in and she gets all flustered. Her wings start going and, and uh, she ends up attacking it. And then you don't see it for the rest of the rest of that particular video or shot. So if you guys are watching and um, you're getting to this point, it's really neat if you actually pause it and then scroll back to the beginning and just compare and contrast the size over the last four days of her building. That outer ring of paper is um, its back at least a half an inch. So what will happen is here, when she's building this nest, um, Right now it's about the size of like a hockey ball, like a street street hockey ball um, or baseball. And when the new adults start to hatch and they start going out and foraging and building, I mean, the production will increase exponentially. So she'll um, then be solely into laying her, um, laying her eggs. And the new adults will be going out foraging for food, getting pulp um, to build nests. And what happens is they will start tearing down walls on the inside as they build two walls on the outside. So as she's building these two walls now, where they have the inner circle and the outer circle, once that outer circle is fully formed, the construction will start on another, or another conical shape of paper, and the inside wall will start being torn down to accommodate for larger comb. And that will happen the entire rest of the um, construction of the nest as new adults are hatching and going out and foraging and things. Period of rest. I think it's so great. She just sits there for quite a while. This is sped up to about four times speed and uh, so she was sitting there for probably 15 minutes maybe, maybe a little less. So that's pretty much it for now. I'm going to be getting some more shots here coming up, and um, but I really appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please do.